So this is a Swift Elegant 645. I'm going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. Front of the van, you've got the jo uh, jockey wheel, hitch and handbrake. It's underneath this cover, so I'll just remove that so you can see it all. So underneath here, as you can see, you've got the hitch, jockey wheel and handbrake. This is all stuff we'll take you through in person here on site, and also the ATC and how that works. Front locker, you've got your gas regulator on the bulkhead with a yellow shutoff valve on the side of the regulator and your gas pipe work coming down to the bottle and you can carry a maximum of two six kilogram propane gas bottles inside the van anytime and you've got your leg winder down in the front of the locker itself. You've then got your Truma heating flue on the outside of the van. Um, you don't need to do anything with this but we do advise you to leave it open. Um, you'd never cover it up at all because it could actually warm anything up that's around it um, and cause an issue. Uh, Audi heating flow, sorry. Um, it could actually cause an issue if it was covered up. Then got your dog shower connection. Very simply, you'd pop this cap off here and you'd push the dog shower into place on the side of the van. You've got your wind down legs on either side of the caravan at the front and they are there to stabilize the caravan, not lift the caravan. If you lifted the caravan with these, it could actually damage the floor of the van. You've then got your water pump connection. So you've got a blue trigger normally on the bottom here. Just had to borrow a pump for this particular van, but there's a blue trigger on the bottom that you'll pull back and push into the side of the van. Then you'll drop your water pipe work down inside the barrel itself. Um, and that's for filling from the external tank. So if you're just using the external tank as a water source. If you want to use the onboard water tank, you'd need to connect the electric pump into the top here, which looks very similar to this one. However, on the other end, it's got a big cylinder tube essentially that drops down and it's got a pump in there that pumps up the water. So you push it into place here, and I'll explain on the inside how you go between filling the two different tanks. You've then got your battery box and your mains power lead coming to the side of the caravan. Um, 240 mains coming in, and you've got, like I said, your battery box with your connections there for um, the top of the battery. The wheel nuts will be torqued before the caravan leaves site, so you can see they've been tightened correctly. Um, and we'll do those in front of you, like I said, and they'll be done to the correct manufacturer's setting. Down the side of the van, you've got your two grey waste pipes, as you can see here. You've got the two bits of grey waste pipe going into one, and that will drop down inside your waste master, so the fresh water that goes in the front has somewhere to come out down the side of the van. Then got your toilet flush tank. You'll put three and a half litres of water into this tank and a cap full of the pink fluid, um, and that's essentially your flush tank filled. So you can do that up then. Um, and we do advise you drain that down before you travel, which you do very simply by pulling out the bit of black pipe that's down the, or the bit of pipe that's down the side here and pulling the cap out the end. The waste cassette, very simply, you pull up the handle, pull the cassette towards you. The neck here turns out 90 degrees so you can tip the waste away. The grey cap is a measure for your pink and blue fluids. And on the back of the cassette, you have a yellow, uh, an orange pressure relief button. So when you're tipping the waste away, it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. Um, so like I said, the orange pressure relief button will allow the waste out of the cassette without spitting and splattering. Going around, oh, sorry, in the back of the caravan, you actually got your two wind down legs to stabilize the caravan, as you can see. And again, they are just there for stabilizing and not lifting the van. Coming around to the other side of the caravan. You've got your barbecue gas points on the front and your front wind down leg. Storage locker for underneath the front bunks. 230 volt outlet points so you can have power coming out to your awning. And then you've got your storage locker for underneath the bed at the rear. And your two vents for the side of the, uh, for the fridge unit itself. So they're essentially there to allow hot air at the back of the fridge unit and let some cool air in. Behind one of these, you'll actually find a gas flue also for when you're running the fridge on gas. Coming inside the caravan. First of all, you're gonna to need to turn the power on above the door. So you, once you connect on the outside, so you've got power on in the center here. And it'll come up with a light to indicate that the, the power post is on and that there's power coming into the caravan. If you connect it to the car and the caravan, you'll have a red light on the car and a green light on the caravan. You've then got your leisure battery voltage and your vehicle battery voltage if you're connected to the car and towing down the road. You can also press view levels to view your levels on board the van, including the fresh water. Um, I'll explain how you fill that in a moment, up in a moment. A lot of people don't actually use this. They just run from the Acker roll, uh, especially when they're away for shorter trips. 
the left hand side you've got your audio control panel which you'd also turn on by pressing the power button just here on the left hand side you can also turn that off prior to shutting down the rest of the caravan first thing we're going to take through is filling the water system so what we're going to need to do is is open all the connect your act roll on the outside and this is for filling from the act roll and not filling the onboard water tank i'll explain that separately in a moment so to fill the water just the hot water tank and through to the taps you're going to open all the taps up on the hot side as you can see i've already done that and as you can see water's running and it's already warm um so we're going to run through so you're going to open all the taps up on the hot side and they're going to then you're going to come underneath the seat on the front right hand side of the caravan so you're actually going to come underneath the cabinets at the front of the caravan here so down in the bottom here you'll actually see there is two yellow drain down valves and the white valve over here so essentially when you're filling when you're trying to fill the system from the aqua roll um, just straight through to the taps without filling this big old board water tank down the front here You're going to make sure that the two yellow valves are parallel with the floor as you would do with any other caravan And then you're going to need, you'll need to make sure that the white valve here on the left hand side is actually pointing across to the right hand side of the caravan And then essentially when I put, press the water pump button It will start filling the hot water tank and not the onboard water tank and it will go directly to the taps As you can see turn the water pump on and the water system will start filling up and then when you've got water running continuously out of every tap on board the caravan as we have now you can shut all of the taps back off to actually use your onboard water tank which is underneath the seat down uh, underneath the cabinets at the front here it's going to be slightly different to fill the system what you're going to need to do is is get hold of the valve on the right left right hand, left hand side and put it into the down position then you're going to open all your taps up, the same as what you've done for, uh, to the onboard water, uh, to the hot water tank. And then instead of pressing water pump, but with your pipe work, the electric water pump connected to the top connection on the outside, you're going to press a fill tank instead. At that point, the water system will start filling up um, to the onboard water tank underneath the front cabinet there. And then when it's full, the pump will automatically cut off. And you'll need to then um, shut all the taps off as you've done previously with the hot water uh, with the hot water side. So that is how you fill your water system. Obviously, like I said, a lot of people don't use the onboard water tank. But one other thing to remember is when you're draining the water system, you need to make sure this valve is in the right hand position. And this is all explained down on the little uh, piece down the front here. But then to drain the water system, you're going to open all the water taps back up in the central position, then open the two yellow drain down valves down the front of the caravan. So that's your water system. Next up, you're gonna to come to your Audi control panel for heating the hot water on board the caravan. Now, as you can see here, hot heating pump is running and that's what this is indicating to us here on the top left hand side. We've got mains power coming into the caravan and below that you've got your room temperature or current room temperature. We're gonna press menu and at the top here, we've got plus or minus to set the room temperature of the caravan. Below that, you've got the option to run your hot water. So you've got hot water on when the bar's halfway across here. And when you go to the top, you've got a hot water boost when you're showering on board the van. So you've either got on or boost. Below that, you've got the option to control how much power is coming into the caravan. So if you had a Truma system before, for instance, you'll have 500, 1,000 or 2,000 watts um, on the control panel for the heating side. Well, on here, you can select one, two or three kilowatts, depending on what site you're on. So you'll select the relevant power source for the power site for the caravan site you're on. Or at the bottom here, you can select the gas option. So if you've got gas connected, you can very simply turn the gas on in the front locker, come inside and press the on button. If it doesn't ignite the first time, what I advise you do is, is turn it off on the gas. Go to the hob and get the gas through on the hob. and but So it's running nicely without um, cutting in and out. Then hit the on button again on the control panel. And in theory, the rest of the system should ignite on board the van with gas. These power sources only control the heating and hot water systems. No other part of the, no other part of the caravan. Microwave, cooker, hob and grill. All very self-explanatory so we'll go on to the fridge next fridge again very simple to use you've got your mains power button on 
And at the moment, as you can see, we're running on 240 mains and you can control the temperature of the fridge on the button on the right hand side that looks a bit like a thermometer. If you want to control the freezer temperature on any of the power sources, once you've set your fridge temperature, you can press the button here, which is for the freezer compartment. Then again, you'll be able to control the freezer temperature. Press it again and it will allow you to go back to the fridge options. Again, you can run the fridge on gas. So we'll hit the gas option here. And as long as you've got the gas turned on and it's connected to the hob and you've bled the hob, etc., like we just explained with the heating system, the fridge will self-ignite on gas by pressing the gas button here. If it fails to ignite, it'll actually fl flash the red warning light on this side and it'll also flash the blue flame symbol on the left-hand side. If you want to use 12 volt as your power source when you're traveling down the road, you can also do that. So when you connect it to the car and you're ready to start towing, you can come inside the van, press the uh, 12 volt battery option here, and it will make the fridge into a cool box rather than a fridge. To turn the fridge back off, you can press and hold the power button and the fridge will completely turn off. So the last part we're going to go through on the Swift Elegance is the toilet system. The toilet has an electric flush on top of it. It has a full indicator light to let you know when the toilet waste cassette is completely full. And below the seat itself it has a grey waste handle here that you'll need to open up to allow the toilet waste into the cassette underneath the van. One thing to bear in mind is, if you haven't had all the heating before, is these are these towel rails that you see, or the towel rails in the bathroom do hold heat for quite a long while once the heating system has been turned off. So please be aware of that and mind your hands and legs. If you have any further questions on the Swift Elegant 645, please don't hesitate to give me a call here at the Caravan Company and I'll be more than happy to help. We appreciate the business and we look forward to seeing you here on site when you collect your caravan shortly. Thank you for now. Bye bye.